Today we're going to be going over the truck check on 110 here at Station 1. We'll be using the PS Tracks app to make sure that we hit all the things that need to be checked. We'll start by going through the cab. We'll turn on our battery. Flip the ignition on. We'll wait for all the gauges to return to their normal positions. And we want to make sure that we have a full fuel tank as well as a full def tank. If we need to fill those, we can do that. Um, we also need to record our mileage in the PS Tracks app. We also need to check all of our emergency lights as well as our scene lights. Emergency master is this switch here, and you can toggle through each one of the uh, emergency lights. Um, it's good to do a walk around and make sure that you um, just see all the light bulbs, make sure none of them are burnt out. The scene lights can be activated from the officer side as well as the driver side. We'll check each one of those and make sure that they are working and that none of the light bulbs are burnt out. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and turn on the ignition. We want to make sure that the air tanks, the front and rear air tanks, build up to 120 PSI. Uh, we also want to make sure that our overhead radio activates and is working. All of our headsets uh, have batteries. Those typically need to be changed once a day, every morning, so we make sure we got fresh batteries in those. Um, 110 also has uh, our parking lights, so we need to make sure that all the light bulbs on the back of the truck are working. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll turn on the emergency master, all the scene lights. Let's walk around and make sure that the light bulbs are out. Make sure they're good. Go ahead and turn them off. Um, now is a good time to check our transmission fluid um, and some of the other fluids. Um, we check transmission fluid. We want to make sure that the vehicle is on and in neutral. You can do this. Um, you check you check fluids through the doggy door here. Our transmission dipstick will be right here. So we'll pull it all the way out, wipe it clean. Put back in. And take it out. We want to make sure that it's within the hot range if the engine has been running for a while or the cold range if the engine has been sitting for a while. Our engine oil will check after the engine is turned off. The engine has been running for a long time. You might need to wait for the oil to drain back into the pan.
Now is also a good time uh, to check all of our tire pressure. 110 is supposed to be 130 PSI on all six tires. To do that, we'll just take off the dust cap here. And we'll check our PSI on each one of the tires. From there, I like to start uh, checking the exterior of the truck. We're looking for any damage, any scrapes, dings, um, anything that wasn't there last time we worked. Um, we want to check all the tires for any nails, any sort of damage on the sidewall. Um, we need to go through each one of our compartments. Uh, we need to make sure that our uh, cold fire extinguisher is um, within its normal PSI range and that it is full. Um, we also need to check our fan. Make sure that it doesn't have any damage on it and that it's in its um, brackets. We also have a CO2 extinguisher. that likes to fall out of its harness here on really bumpy roads. Make sure that this is charged and in place. <laughs> Get that out. Um, so on your app it's going to have the all the belongings of each one of these compartments you need to make sure that it does have all of those and that nothing's damaged and that everything is working this fan is battery powered um, so you can use one of the batteries um, from the Hurst extrication tools to power it it's a good idea to take that out and turn it on and make sure that it is working next important we're gonna have all of our tools Make sure that we're not missing any, make sure that they're clean and um, ready for use. In this compartment we're going to have our extrication tools as well as some cribbing. Um, we need to make sure that each one of these is working by putting a battery in it, turning it on and um, activating the tool. I like to make sure that there's some water bottles in case we do need them on a fire. Uh, this is an air hammer. Um, some pieces from this can get left on scene. It's a good idea to go through it and make sure you're not missing any pieces. Um, so 110 eventually will have all of these filled with SCBA, SCBA, SCBA bottles. Uh, we need to make sure that each one is full. So they need to be refilled. Make sure you do that. On the back, make sure that none of our ladders are missing, none of our pipe poles are missing. Um, pull this out. Make sure that uh, your halyard is attached and that it's not damaged. It's also a good idea to check your hose bed. Make sure that there's no um, tangles, anything wonky going on with that. Um, also check our hose reel and our hydrant bag. We need to make sure that we have everything um, required in the hydrant bag, the hose reel, 
make sure that it's not snagged or caught up on anything. It likes to fall back. Um, it makes it really difficult to grab the nozzle quickly. So we need to make sure that it's ready to go on top of the reel. Our med compartment um, has um, our med bag. We also have this suction unit, our spinal bag, a clipboard, um, our AED device. There's going to be another video on how to check a medical bag as well as medical equipment. I always go through the bag and make sure that I replace everything as soon as possible. Um, we need to make sure that the suction, suction unit is working without being plugged in. Make sure that we have our extra air tank, oxygen tank, um, that's sealed. Um, make sure that our clipboard has all the paperwork we need for every day. So we should have some PCRs, refusals, our signature forms, property release. Um, we should also have a um, on scene of a death form in here as well. spare SCBA bottles and make sure they're all full. This is where you can refill your DEF as well as your diesel. This compartment we're going to have a set of irons. We're going to have our, our big easy for getting into cars, uh, lockout kit. Um, this orange bag right here are, is our safety cones. Um, we also have some puck lights in here to make sure that none of these are missing and that they're working. If they're not working, they just need to be charged. If that doesn't work, then they need to be replaced. We also want to make sure we have our tool bag. As well as our pry bar. The engineer's compartment has several nozzles, couplings, uh, all those need to be checked through, make sure that each one is there, um, make sure that our lights are charging and working. These batteries need to be cycled through on the charger pretty often, so we need to make sure that each one of these is fully charged, if it's not charged, it needs to be placed on the charger. From there, we're gonna uh, go ahead and turn the engine back on and we're gonna check our pump. In order to put it into pump gear, you need to have the truck on, started. Make sure the engine is in neutral. We're gonna use our toggle switch here it down to the halfway position, wait until all the air escapes, and go down all the way. You should hear it kind of kick in, um, as well as the RPM gauge go off a bit. There we need to place the vehicle in drive. You should see a little, little spike in miles per hour. You need to make sure that the truck isn't going to move forward at all. Make sure it's chocked, take your foot off the brake. Make sure that the vehicle does not move at all. Okay, we'll come back. We make sure that we put it in tank to pump, as well as tank fill. We want to prime our pump. Then we want to. Uh, Rev up the pump a little bit to make sure that it's not making any weird noises, make sure that the discharges are working. I like to have someone on the reel um, to make sure that water is flowing. It's also a good idea just to flush that water out through the reel every once in a while. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to select our control mode, and we can start throttling up the pump. Our 
I like to throttle it up to about 150. take our truck out of pump gear. Take it out of pump gear and put your foot on the brake. Put the engine back in neutral. You're gonna move your toggle switch back halfway. Then up all the way. So the next step will be tipping the cab. Uh, when you tip the cab, you need to make sure that all the loose items are out of the cab. So any radios, helmets, gear, uh, just anything that could fly forward and hit the windshield when you tip the cab needs to be removed. To tip the cab, we're going to flip this red switch up. We'll tip the raise, and you can activate it. cab all the way and in one fluid motion. When you stop and start uh, the hydraulics, it can cause damage. So uh, make sure that you do one fluid motion. Make sure that we put our safety bar down. Then we're going to be looking for any, any leaks, any signs of corrosion, anything that uh, shouldn't be there. So we have our belt, our fan, um, we have several batteries, uh, terminals. We want to be checked for any corrosion. Uh, we also need to check for any sort of weird leaks. We got, uh, there might be oil coming down. Um, yeah, anything out of place. Uh, we also need to check our power steering fluid as well as our coolant while we're down here. Make sure that there's nothing crazy going on with the truck. You can turn it off. We can check our power steering fluid. Make sure it is within the on the full mark. Our coolant can be checked uh, by looking at this glass indicator. I want to make sure that it's full. Once we've made sure that our uh, under the cab is squared away, we can take our safety bar down. And we can lower our cab. And we just switch our toggle switch down to lower. Um, it's important to make sure that there's no one around uh, that could, you know, stick their head underneath the cab. Uh, be pretty dangerous. It also needs to be on. These 
mud flaps tend to get stuck on this battery mount. Didn't that time. It's important to make sure that they um, don't get caught on that because it could tear. Once the cab's in, all, cab is all the way down, keep this in the lower position. Close it. Um, I like to open these side doors here and look for any hoses that uh, might have come loose, any signs of uh, leaks, um, anything that shouldn't be, um, any, anything that's broken, I guess. Um, from there, um, I want to make sure that we obviously have our water filled up all the way and make sure we have our foam filled up all the way. Um, and uh, that'll be the one ton engine check. I guarantee you. Nice. I guarantee you I'm going to have to redo that. I got like halfway through. I thought that was like, good. I got like halfway through and I'm like, oh, this is so sloppy. <laughs> so sloppy. This thing's about to die anyway. Yeah. Do it if he wants me to redo it. I'll do it. <laughs> like you said, are, are they going to show it to us? Or? Yeah, I Lieutenant Sin to see if you don't have to do PT. You know? Can you put this back on top of the
think? Should I try and become a, an actor now? Dude, start a vlog, follow the channel. <laughs> Man. Make vlogs at the, at the station. Yeah. Just didn't turn it off. Did you get it? We did it. Is it all good? I hope so. Yeah. Hope it won't turn off. What else did we do? What did we do Sunday? Nothing, did we? Yesterday was Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't really do anything yesterday. What do we do today? Build some benches. 